Welcome to my declutter or welcome back to my declutter. Today we're going to be working on blushes, bronzers, and like face palettes that are kind of like mixed. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining the squad. If you like declutters, please give this video a like because it really does help my channel. And let's just jump right on and get started because we have quite a long video today. We have these Jaclyn Hill um, bronzer and blush palettes. I picked up two shades. Uh, if you can see my reflection, yes, I am wearing tie-dye pajamas. Um, this is the Lilac You A Lot, I think. No, <laughs> that's a color pop. We have Lilac Love and Top Tan, which was the lightest one available. And then we have Pink Me Up and Oh Honey. These are really beautiful powders. They're made in Italy. Um, I don't really... I don't feel like I pull off this purple. The purple almost feels like I have a bruise on my cheek. but And the bronzer is super, super light. But they have a beautiful, like, finish on the skin, and I really love them. Um, the only thing I really don't love, I don't know if you guys can see, but, like, they get super fingerprinty. But um, these are newer, so I'm definitely, definitely going to hang on to these. I'm going to just put them in this little container over here. So then we have this container here we're going to go through. We have the Glam Light... Um, this is a face palette. It came with the chocolate donut, kind of like the Willy Wonka looking set that they had. Um, right around, I'd say right around Christmas time. I've only, it looks like I've maybe swatched the highlighter in here. I just don't ever reach for it because the bronzer is a bit too dark for me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye to her. Then we have this BFF face palette. This is from BH Cosmetics. This came out with the Alondra and Elsie um, collection, the BFF collection. The colors inside are really pretty. I just kind of forget that I have it. Sorry if I'm blinding you there with the light, but you get a couple different shades of bronzer. This, it could be like a, you know, a bronzer or a blush. It's a really nice neutral peachy blush. And then this highlighter is actually really, really pretty. I just kind of forget to use it. Um, ooh. And see, like, I should use it. That's gorgeous. It might be a little dark for me. But I'm definitely going to keep it just because I have the eyeshadow palette as well. And another, I love the shininess, but I hate the fingerprints. Okay, so moving on, we have these cheek palettes from ColourPop. Now, you guys, they just recently released, um, like, four more of these. I didn't purchase them because I think they're very, very similar. So the new ones are supposed to have a bronzer in them which I thought these already did. To me, like these shades look like bronzers. Um, and then they already have the Super Shock Highlighter, which these are the, about the same colors that are in the new ones. Um, so I just didn't see any need to pick it up because I'm not even really using these. Um, the problem I have, like there, there's nothing wrong with them or anything, but I think it's just easier sometimes to pull out single blushes. Um, just because this square is just a little bit small for my blusher brush, and I don't like mixing the products together, but if I was in a pinch or if I was, like, actually getting to go somewhere, um, I think these would be really nice. So, and plus, I just got them, and I haven't even done a video with them, so we're gonna, we're gonna keep those. So far, I'm not doing the best. Let's, um... <laughs> this one here is from the lip bar. This is actually one of the first videos that I put up on my channel within the first like month or two. Um, this palette's like 22 bucks um, from Target and you get a nice like finishing powder, a really neutral blush, a bronzer, and a highlight. Now what I thought was really neat about this palette is it does come in seven different shades. So this is the lightest one, it's called Go Off. Um, but I really like the inclusivity in the skin tones. Um, this is actually like a really nice palette like all four products work for me, which is rare in a face palette I definitely would like to get some more use out of this um, So I'm gonna hang on to that. This one is another one. I'm keeping um, I guess I should preface this or start out. I should have already said this. I'm not gonna declutter just to declutter um, a lot of my everything was bought honestly within the last year year and a half tops um, since I've been doing YouTube um, and so nothing is bad. A lot of stuff I bought for videos and then I just didn't do anything with. So if I am getting rid of a lot of this stuff or what I do end up getting rid of, I'm going to try to, I'll post it on my Mercari. So if you guys are interested in anything, I'll have it linked down below. Um, definitely not selling any PR or anything like that. So this is the new Micro Smooth Face Palette from Sephora. I have the lightest shade. There's two. This is Enchant, and then it comes in a darker shade called Captivate. Again, we get the highlighter, the bronzer, um, a blush, and kind of like more of a blushy topper. Let me swatch this for you guys really quick. This is $20, and it is just 
stunning. I'm like so horrible with figuring out where light is and how to show. So there's our highlighter. There is the blush, our blush topper, and then the bronzer shade in the lightest palette. This is made in Italy, you guys, where like all beautiful powdery makeup is made. So um, I highly suggest picking this up if you're into it. Then we have this one here from Lethal Cosmetics. I purchased a bunch of Lethal Cosmetics, um, I'd say like six months ago because of Teresa's dead. This is the, I want to say the Vernal Face Palette. It's so weird because they sell these to like create your own. Um, and so it doesn't have like a label on it to tell me which one it is, unfortunately, but I believe it is the Vernal. It's the lightest one. So we have a coral blush here. I bought it for the highlighter because Teresa's dead said this highlighter is like out of this world. Let me kind of like wipe that off so I can show you guys. Let me get a little bit more there. So this is the highlight and it is super shimmery and super pretty. And honestly, like you can see I've swatched this but I've never used it and I really want to and I bought a bunch of lethal stuff to do for a video. Um, so I'm probably gonna be doing that video soon so I'm gonna hang on to this one as well. Then we have this. This is the holiday set from Tarte from last Christmas, and this has a variety of highlight, blush, and bronzers in it. It's the Amazonian clay formula. Some have shimmer and some don't. Um, I definitely haven't got much use out of these just because they're kind of a pain in the butt to open, um, and I just kind of forget that I have them, to be honest. Um, but they are really, really pretty. It'd be really nice, you know, like I said, if you actually get to go somewhere and you could have, you know, all of your products in this one little thing or in your purse. So I'm probably going to hang on to the one, not, not that one, let me see, not that one, the one with the gold lid I'm going to hang on to because it, it does have the highlighter that'll work for me and the cheek and the bronzer. And then these other two I'm going to declutter to my daughter because I think she would get some use out of those. And we're gonna jump into the box of bronzers. Okay, so we have the Too Faced bronzer. This is the teddy bear bronzer, and it's super cute. It, it did say Too Faced right here. I'm sure you can still kind of see it, but unfortunately it was just like a gold overspray, and with one use it was gone. I've literally used this one time. Um, as you can see, it's very like shimmery, and I don't know, it just looked kind of funny to me. I bought it because it went with the set, you know, of course with the eyeshadow palette, and I'm a sucker for a set, plus like how cute is this? But honestly, um, I just don't use it, so hopefully someone can get some better use out of it. And I'm so weird. I keep the boxes for everything, you guys. I literally have boxes just full of the boxes to all the makeup I buy. Next up, we have this Soul Bronzer. This is Soul Body from Col you know, ColourPop's sister brand, whatever. This I've never even touched. Um, I do think it's a bit too warm for me. This is the shade Light. Um, it was sold out for like the longest time and then they restocked like, I don't know, five months ago when I bought it and I just haven't gotten around to using it. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that because I have a new cream bronzer that I just got that is a great color for me. So let's, this is the ABH cream bronzer. This just recently was released. I have the shade Amber. I did originally get the lighter shade. Um, I don't remember what it's called, like sun something. And it was just a little bit too light for me. It When I blended it in, it just looked like I was jaundice. Um, so I really, really like this one. I'm definitely going to be hanging on to that one if I don't break it. Next up, I have this bronzer from Milani. This is the Sunkissed Silky Matte Bronzer. And I used to love this bronzer. It was actually one of the first. I had this and I had the, um, the Physician's Formula Bronzer. Uh, I swatched this the other day. It's, I don't know if you can see that, but see in the middle there how it's kind of like starting to look kind of funky and like it was really hard to get like color off until I kind of got the top layer off. Um, so I don't know what the deal is with that, but I really love this one because it's like got more of a cool tone on it. So I'm going to hang on to it just because I don't have very many like cool tone bronzers. This will be an easy get rid of. This one I'm actually, I need a separate bucket. So we have our <laughs> we have our declutter and then we have our trash bucket here. So I bought this um, to do like 
cream contour but I bought too warm of a shade this is in the shade caramel plus I think this little like foamy thing on here is kind of disgusting to like keep touching your face with I don't know it grosses me out so we're just gonna get rid of that guy this next up is from NYX. This is the Three Steps to Sculpt. I really, really love this. Um, again, it's a little more neutral slash cool tone compared to a lot of like contour and bronzing powders. Um, I don't really use this so much, but I do like to touch up kind of under, clean up my contour with that color, and then this is still really nice. Um, plus, again, three in one if you <laughs> get to go anywhere. I used to carry that one in my purse. It is a little big, but I still love it. Um, and I do believe that's available in other shades because I have the shade Fair, so it is available in other skin tones. This next up is from Item Beauty, um, Addison Ray's like Ipsy brand or whatever. Um, Mood Vibes Item, this is called Cheek Money. I did actually really like this when I got my Ipsy bag. I think what I liked about it is it said I love you, say, say it back on the mirror, I thought that was super cute. Um, I do have this in a mini also, and um, I just, I have so many bronzers. We're going to go ahead and declutter that one. Then we have another mini. This is the Bobbi Brown bron bronzer. Bobbi Brown bon bronzer. <laughs> Say that three times fast. So this one actually has like a little more of a like red tone to it. In this light, it doesn't. It's actually very, very pretty. I wonder how it compares to this one. This is one of my favorites. Let's see. So Paulina Ashplin or from Paulina Beauty. I don't want to butcher her last name. You guys probably know who she is because she is amazing. But she recommended the bronzer from the Balm in uh, Oliver. And I feel like they're pretty similar in tone. Let's see. This is the Balm. And then... See, Bobbi Brown has like a little more like pinky undertone to it. It's definitely darker. So it actually... Uh, it might be too dark for me, but I don't know. I'm definitely, okay, we're going to put this in here and we're going to try it in a video. You guys hold me to it. And the balm bronzer, I love. I got to get the full size. This one, I have never touched. It is just a little tiny, tiny, the cutest though. Look how adorable this is. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, this is a mini NARS bronzer. It is so cute in Laguna. I just have to keep it based on cuteness points. It's adorable. Then we have my Physician's Formula Better Believe It bronzer. This one, I took out the little thing down here because it was weird. Um, this I love. Let's see. You can see it's definitely a little more warm toned and a little lighter. I'm sure you guys have seen this one. I just had to smell it. It smells like summer. I love it. I'm going to hang on to that one. This one I've seen a lot of people like kind of shitting on. This I have the shade Light. They are very kind of warm toned. Oops. That's the wrong end. That's the weird brush end. Um, I have the shade Light in it. Let me see. I actually, like, don't find this to be too bad. It is, you know, quite warm, but I definitely can make it work, especially if I use, like, the pink blush with it. Um, I don't know. Now that I look at it compared to the other bronzers I like, I'm like, mm, do I like it? I don't know. I think we're gonna just try that one more time, maybe. But it's so weird when you, like, there's <laughs> so many different shades of, like, something that you like. Okay, then we have this. I didn't know which box to put this in because it is the bronzer. It's the blush and bronzer mix from Bare Minerals. These came out at the beginning of summer. This is the Kiss of Pink, which is the lightest shade. As you can see, it's definitely, to me, more of, like, a blush. Still, I wouldn't, definitely wouldn't just use this as, like, I don't know, my bronzer. Um, but it's really, really beautiful. I think these are, like, right around $20, and I highly recommend them. Let me find one I don't like. Okay, so we have this one from Yenza. Yeah, again, another cream bronzer. Um, I think I... Oh, you can tell I literally put a brush in there because there's brush fuzzies on there. Other than that, it's untouched. The only reason I don't like this one is just because it's too, like, too warm toned for me. So it's very similar in color to the ColourPop, like they're almost identical. Um, so I'd say they're both kind of like a dupe for the Chanel, cause the Chanel's more of this color. Um, so my fingers never went in here, just a clean <laughs> brush. I'm hoping somebody, what, why won't this go on? Okay. Oh my gosh, what did I, <laughs> what did I do? Oh, okay, so that really like, 
clamps down on there to keep it from drying out. So maybe now it'll close. Yes, this is the Sun Sunlit Glow. So this is the Silk Bronzing Base. The, oh, this is different though. This you're supposed to put on like underneath, huh? Okay, we're gonna try that because I don't think I used it properly last time. Then we have the By Mario. This is in light medium. I actually, so this one looks a little dark. Let's see. It is quite, quite dark. We're gonna um, declutter that one. It's been swatched, but I will sanitize it. It's just too dark for me. Then we have this one. This is from Huda Beauty. This is the glowish bronzer. And funny story, so I this is in the shade light, and this is my second one of these. I purchased it, and I was watching everyone's YouTube videos, and I realized like how much darker, like how much darker swirls mine had than like everyone else's so I ordered a second one to see if it was like just a fluke and I'll insert a picture here of them side by side they even swatched differently so I kept the one that was like more of a like light shade and um sent back the other one because it I don't know it must have been mislabeled or something because they literally look completely different but this is a beautiful like radiant bronzer without being sparkly and I love that love it this one Oh, this palette, you guys. I hear everyone say the same thing when I see these come up in declutters. Like, the packaging, 10 out of 10, completely gorgeous. It smells amazing. It has, like, Tarte's, you know, signature smell if you have any other palettes or anything. It smells like that. It says, chiseled like a diamond inside on the mirror. You get a couple just, you know, like, finishing powders here. And then I love the variety of tones here. And then you kind of have a shimmery one over here if you want to add that. I had to have this. I've used it literally two times, and I think it's just because it's been in the drawer and I forget to pull it out because my drawers were completely organized last time I decluttered, like, six months ago, eight months ago. I don't know. I'll have to look at my videos, but, like, um, and then I just started, the drawer started getting so full, I literally didn't open them, and everything that I used I kept on top of my vanity. So we're going to hang on to this. I've decided I'm going to implement a new thing on my channel where I'm, like, literally pulling together a group of products I'm going to use those products for like a week or two and then put them back shop my stash you get the drift because I have so many wonderful things I totally forgot I had oh my gosh look at my <laughs> hi guys so uh this one here oh my gosh I okay pretend you didn't see that um I wasn't a fan get it the fan <laughs> um this one, the packaging confuses the heck out of me. Like, I forget, like, how it opens because it looks like it should open right here. But it opens right here. So you literally have to hold the side is the only way you're going to get it open. I I love his products sometimes, but I hate, like, how fingerprinty they get. This is just, a, like, a, such a petty thing. Um, but in this, you got the kind of, like, creamy, more, like, cool tone, like, contour color. And then the powder bronzer. I've legit used this one time. I think it's just because the color, like, this color's right on, but this color's, like, a little too light for me, I feel like. Um, I don't know if it can be built up. I honestly put it in the drawer and forgot I had it. So we're going to play with this one, too, and see if we can make it work. And if not, we will declutter it next time. Then we have this stick from Haley's Beauty. I bought everything from Haley's Beauty because I was going to um, do a whole video on it and then I kind of just forgot um, <laughs> and my friend Kara was so nice to send me their primer because their primer was sold out and she sent it to me so I could do my video. So if you guys are interested in sealing, sealing, see I'm combining seeing and Haley's together. If you guys are interested in sealing, uh, I did it again! If you guys are interested in seeing a Haley's Beauty um, video, let me know. So this is the contour color. It was a set, it came with a foundation shade and a contour shade together, which I thought was really cool. And you guys, I really need to use this because I love this. Actually, you know what? Look at that. That color is like perfect for me. The formula... Just look how this, okay, ignore the fact that my hand is tan, but look how this one goes on, okay, and then, oh my god, I do that every time, <laughs> then look how this one goes on, just the difference in, like, 
the texture, the feel of it. This one's definitely more um, like emollient feeling. I'm gonna clean this guy up. I've only used it a handful of times. I'll just clean it up with alcohol swab and I'm going to declutter this. This is in the shade light. So if anyone's interested in trying the Makeup by Mario, you can get on my Mercari in a few days and get it at a really discounted rate because I'm keeping the Haley's Beauty one. And if anyone is interested in what shade it is, it is in 4.25. Next up, we have this Becca bronzer. Oh, I'm so sad. Kind of, I don't know, it's weird. It's like, I think it's just because I know that I won't be able to get the stuff anymore. Not like so much that I use this stuff all the time. So I really love the shade of this bronzer. This is Bally Sands. Um my whole hand is bronzed at this point but you get the drift it's just a really nice like light like if I'm not going for a super you know makeupy day but I just need something to give me like a little bit of color I really love it and I love it just gives like a slight it's not shiny by any means but it's just has a I don't know a little bit of light reflecting property in there and it's gorgeous definitely hanging on to that one this one is a sample that I got, but it's just too dark for me, and it sucks because it's really beautiful. Um, it's in shade bronze, Bondi. It's just too dark. I'm not going to stick my finger in it. Um, I'm gonna, If someone gets like the Makeup by Mario, I'll just throw this in as like a little bonus or something. Next up, we have the infamous e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. So I got the shade I forget, Tan Lines. It is the second to lightest shade. Um, I have used it once. Let's do a little just kind of shade comparison for funsies. So here is the ColourPop one and then this is the Tan Lines. It's kind of like right in the middle. I'd say it's not as like neutral as the Amber but it's not quite as warm as the Soul. But I just find this goes on like really sheer and um they kind of like blend away to like nothing honestly is kind of my feel for it um and I just have a lot of cream bronzer so I'm gonna declutter that maybe someone can get some use out of that guy we're moving right along here at 23 minutes okay we have this from Kaleidos I love this um it is the charisma contour palette I, I'm saying I love this and there's literally like every beauty guru there's like nothing on here I promised you that I have like used this a couple times it's just I don't know it's made out of this powder that like really doesn't show anything but the color can you see that like I love how it has like three different colors um, and it tells you right on here like what they're used for to fill shade and chisel and which is nice because you don't want to use like the same necessarily like, contour or like on the Oh my gosh, I have no makeup on. Don't judge me. It's Sunday. Um, like, you, you can use a different shade on your nose and on your cheeks and then just have this, like, for under your brows or whatever. Like, this is really nice. And this, I have the shade Cool and Light. Sometimes I think it's too light, but the medium one is, like, way too warm. So, like I am. I am so warm under this light, you guys. This um, just recently came out, like, I'd say, like, two months ago. This is Juvia's Place Bronzed bronze palette I have in light I believe it comes in light medium and deep um this one is really nice you get kind of like a more neutrally shade here and then a warmer shade down here what is on my finger I don't even know what that is oh it's a piece of skin okay wicked cool um but you get both shades for $14 you get quite a bit of product in here you get over an ounce of product between the two shades, which is amazing. It is a pretty nice quality powder. Um, I'm definitely not mad at it. And um, I like that you have like two different colors in there. So you can either use one or the other, depending on your like level of tan or whatever. Or you can like mix them together for a really nice neutral shade. I would highly recommend these if you're like on a budget and looking for a decent bronzer. Oh my, oh, I thought we had one more. We have two more. Okay, this one. This one is really cool. This is in the old packaging. I should probably get a new one, but honestly, like, it's just sat there. I haven't used it, so hopefully it's still good. Um, this is, look at that color. Like, if you know how pale I am, like, this is the perfect, like, cool tone, like, cream contour for me. It's in the shade Sunset. This is the Skin Sculpting Wand from Ofra. I know Ofra is canceled right now, but... 
like I really like the color and like I gotta like put some tape over it or something if it bothers you but um Shan XO you may know her channel she's pretty famous here on YouTube um she actually suggests this and she has similar like skin and hair color to me so I tried it and I really really like it totally forgot that I had it so we're gonna just stick it over here um, and then last but certainly not least, we have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush, Flawless Airbrush, no it's not Flawless, Airbrush Bronzer. Um, it says a matte bronzing filter. Mine is really dirty, I'm sorry, like this is one that definitely does get used. Um, as fair as I am, I still use the shade too. I found the other ones to be just too light for my skin, they didn't really show up or do much of anything so if you're um i recommend like whatever you think you are like going up one number at least um this is quite a pricey bronzer but i actually got mine brand new from a seller on mercari i'm totally not pushing mercari but i got it for like 36 dollars or something which is way better i figure than full price and it's 100 percent authentic and i love this one so let's see um Move this box. So these are the ones that I ended up decluttering. We're like just tossing this one because I'm not gonna sell that to anybody. That's gross. Um, we have the e.l.f. putty bronzer. We have the brand new medium light makeup by Mario. We have the light makeup by Mario. We have the item beauty, the mini Becca that I'm just gonna throw in with an order. Uh, the brand new soul body and light, the glam light face palette with the highlighter, and then the two face bronzer. These are all going to be going to a new home, hopefully soon. Um, out of the face palettes, again, just as a reminder, these are what I kept, basically because they're all <laughs> pretty much really new or good for travel. Um, and then these are the ones that I am keeping in my collection and I'm documenting it right now like these are ones I want to definitely incorporate all this stuff and kind of you know move it around so I can definitely get some use out of these because I like totally forgot about some of these and they're really really nice products so yes let's move on to blushes I'm gonna get this. Oh, and I broke it no I'm just kidding I didn't break it so I'm going to start off with all of these. I'm just going to group them together. If I find, I think there's one more. If I find it, then I will add it in here. Um, these I bought when they were first released, when they launched. Um, I bought, like, Amanda from Makeup Just for Fun. There was two colors out of the eight that, like, weren't as good of a formula as the others. Like, they didn't, like, swatch as good and stuff. So I skipped out on those, um, but I purchased the rest of them. But I've never, literally never used them. Um, I love cream products, but I definitely reach more for like a, more like a solid type of cream product. Um, yeah, but I think I'm going to post these. Maybe someone who loves this formula would be stoked to have the original colors. So there's absolutely like nothing wrong with them. I'm just, I, I don't know. I like to be fast and I don't like to get stuff on my hands and yeah. Next up, we have this Go Play blush from MAC. This is in the shade Cheeky Devil. This is a gorgeous, just beautiful baby pink blush. It's almost like a putty formula. It has like a nice like little sheen to it. I really like it. I'm not, I'm gonna try to go faster. So we're keeping, we're keeping her. Next up, we have the blush sticks from the ColourPop Limoncello collection. Um, I only started really getting into ColourPop during quarantine. And so I didn't own a bunch of these. I guess they used to come with like almost every collab. Um, and I never did my limoncello video either, I don't think. So I've never really got a chance to use these. But I think it's mixed. I think people either love these or they hate these. But I'm definitely going to give them a shot. Then I only got one of them. But ColourPop... Then when they released the Limoncello collection at Ulta, they added a couple powder blushes. I was able to get my hands on one of them. This is the shade Rustica. It's just kind of, I don't know, to me it's almost like a bronzer. Um, let me, I'm super bronzed, but it's definitely like a warm terracotta shade. Um, ooh, a little powdery there. Um, I like to keep this to use like, as a blush. I think it's really nice. I definitely wouldn't go in as heavy handed as that, but it's really pretty. 
And I, you know how I am with like collections and having to like keep all this stuff together. So, ugh. next up we have these beauties here. These are the Spring It On blushes from She Glam. And I have to say, these were really nice formula. They are under $4. Um, and I actually, dare I say, like I liked them better than the ColourPop formula. They're less of a gel and more of like, um, kind of like a cream to powder. Again, it's a really pretty formula, but I just don't reach for like the cream products. So, the so these are the blushes from the um, Hello Kitty and Friends, the um, wintertime collab with Hello Kitty. I, I told you I keep the boxes for everything. So this is bundled up. It's the kind of like shimmery, lighter pink one. And then we have At Frost Sight. I'm going to keep these out of the box now or I'll just never use them. Um, At Frost Sight was the more matte and like more of the pinky toned one. And just stick these in here. I love this eyeshadow palette. I really enjoy like playing with it. I think I get some really pretty looks on like my fair skin with it. And it says hello pretty. I just think it's super cute. So we're gonna hang on to those guys. We're gonna put the boxes in my box of boxes for boxes. <laughs> Does that make sense? Next up, I have a couple Ofra blushes. This is the Ofra and Madison Miller blush oh my gosh blinding you guys okay um and then this is Bellini it's a nice like peachy blush I'm not gonna lie I really like both of these colors I feel you're probably gonna see a lot of the same um colors over and over again um I'm gonna call these maybe for right now and we're just gonna like stick them right here then we have this blush from Essence. These are like under three bucks and they are freaking beautiful. Let's see. You see like the sheen on there? Like that nice like sheen that it leaves on your cheeks. It's, I seriously, I need to get them all. I'm like blending all this bronzer in like look how tan I look. And then over here it's like this one's been to Hawaii and this one's like never left the house. Okay. Um, then we have this, which I was going to declutter last time, but then again, Paulina Beauty like talks about milk all the time, so I was going to use it. Still has a lid on it. Definitely have not used it. This is in the shade Work, but I think I'm going to put it over here the top priority to try. <laughs> then we have some old Kylie. This is the old formulation. This is in the shade Pink Power. Um, it's just a really light baby pink blush. I did find this to be really powdery, but it's like the lightest pink blush I have. And until I replace it, I'm going to hang on to it. Then we have these Hello Kitty blushes from the newest ColourPop and Hello Kitty collection. Now these are bright. Okay, these are at least out of the box. They still have the paper, but they're... Um, so you have like this really bright ass like red coral shade and then kind of a more pinky tone. Um, I'm going to hang on to these simply because, well this one is gorgeous. You definitely have to go in light handed but it's really pretty and they coordinate with the eyeshadow palettes. So the eyeshadow palettes are very very bright and I really don't have other like bright blushes to wear when I kind of like kind of give me that monotone, no monotone is that? Monotone is your voice. Oh, you know when you kind of do the same color scheme on your face? That's the word I'm looking for, but my brain is not um, helping me out with that right now. But you know what I mean. So these are going to stay. Then we have these. Oh, my goodness. Let's, oh, my gosh. I'm, like, throwing things around. So let's go into this one really quick. This is easy. This one, I don't see. Every freaking time. Every freaking time. Um. And then I feel like I can't get it on. Okay, so I have this in the Pale Petal shade. The blush, see how it just goes, I mean, it's sticking to my arm hairs. But it's just very, very emollient. But for some reason, it doesn't bother me nearly as much in the blush form as it does in the bronzer. But I think the bronzer was is just the color. But you kind of got to be careful because they will blend away to virtually nothing. Um, and eventually they do kind of soak into the skin, but... 
I really like this color, so I'm going to hang on to it for a little bit longer. I don't recommend putting it directly, like, on your skin. Um, what I started doing is just taking, a like, a brush, like, um, oh my gosh, I have a hangnail, and it's really accentuating it in the light. Um, like, the putty bronzer, like, applicator brush, and just kind of brushing it over the product and then applying it to your face or your beauty blender or whatever. That works better for me. So then we have this ColourPop blush. This was from their like Baroque collection. It's the only blush that I kept. I did originally have them all. Um, it was not from 2014, if anyone is wondering. Um, it's in the shade Chase. This is really beautiful, just like neutral peachy blush. I feel like it, it reminds me of Bellini. Um, but Bellini has like a little more pinky tone to it. So this is definitely like unique to my collection. Let's count how many times I say that. Don't drink every time I say unique to my collection. Then we have these that I keep based just solely on packaging alone. These were released with the, um, the, oh my gosh, I'm spacing. The, like, cotton candy pink palette that came out on Black Friday this last year. Cloud Spun. Um, I really like these despite the fact that they have shimmer in them. Can you see the shimmeries? Um... But they're really pretty, and again, I feel like when I'm wearing the palette, and I want, like, a matching blush, so. Then we have this one, another one from Becca, that I always can never get open correctly, because I don't know what I'm doing. At, at first, I thought this was, like, a bronzer, but it does have more, like, of that, like, kind of pinky undertone to it. It's the shade, what is it, Wild Honey. Um, this is a gorgeous blush, honestly. It's so similar to this, um, to this lemon blush, though. Okay, we're going to declutter the Limoncello Rustic Blush, and we're going to keep the Becca. Next up, we have these blushes from Moira. Um, I found these to be incredibly beautiful. Look at that. This is... Morning Sunshine, which I got based solely on the way it looks alone. I absolutely love it. And then we have Orange Blossom, because I didn't have an orange blush, and you know my obsession with orange. But, like, look at that. Like, that is so gorgeous. Now, when it comes down to using them, they may look beautiful, but I found them to be super, super powdery, so they do make kind of a mess. But... Um, they are beautiful and I would just keep them forever just solely to put them out for display because they're beautiful. These are only nine bucks a piece, I believe, and there's like eight different colors. This is another keeper. This I just got, you guys. This is my NARS Basic Instinct Quad 1. We have Orgasm, Orgasm X, Behave, and Dolce Vita. Um, unlike ColourPop, which I feel like these are just slightly, just the tiniest bit bigger, but it makes a difference with the brush. Um... I do have to build them up quite a bit, especially this one, but I just really love the finish of a NARS blush. I think they're really pretty, um, again, with the fingerprints, but I don't know. I really like it, and I was down to just having, like, a mini, like, orgasm of these, so I don't know. I thought it was a good deal. You get basically four blushes for the price of one. Then we have this Believe Beauty. This shade is High Tea. It's Born to Blush. And this is what it looks like. It has a really nice sheen to it. It's almost like a, like a blush topper. Um, I know that it's getting hard to see on my hand, honestly. But do you see the sheen there? It's so, so pretty. And again, I don't really have anything exactly like it. Yeah, you can get Believe Beauty at Dollar General. I believe this blush was like four bucks, you guys. Next up, we have this one from She Glam. She Again, don't sleep on She Glam. This is their uh, Cosmic Crystal Mousse Blush in the shade Uh Huh Honey. Um, it feels so super smooth. It's definitely like a, a cream to powder formula. And like, look at that color. Like, the color is gorgeous. These are $3, I think. Okay, so we have this blush from Rare Beauty. It's just a sample size, or like a mini. I got this in like a chapstick or something. Um, in the shade Bliss. I've legit never used it, but it totally looks like a color that I would be into. So we're going to put this in the, like, try it soon, girl. What are you doing with your life? Okay, then we have an e.l.f. Putty Blush. Everybody loves these. I have the shade 
I think it's called Tahiti. These are so freaking hard to read. Um, yes, Tahiti. So don't be intimidated by the colors that these look in the pan, you guys, because they definitely don't show up that color. They're much more, um, like, mild. That's the shade Tahiti. I think the putty blushes are much better quality than the putty bronzers, and I'm going to hang on to that guy. I'm not doing super great, like, decluttering a huge amount of stuff, but it's hard, you guys. I'm sure if you're watching this, like, you understand like, I don't understand the attachment myself, but, like, I have it. So, this is the Chanel blush that I would never bought in anything, like, Chanel, Dior, Louboutin, like, given, like, nothing, like, super high-end like that. This was, like, my first thing. I got it earlier in the spring when it released. It is the Fleur de Printemps or whatever. It was limited edition, made in Italy. It did have a Chanel, like, brush that came with it, but I chucked that because it was horrible um you can tell I've got some like good use out of it you can still see like the imprint on it a little bit um but this was $75 and I joked in my video about it I was like okay I'm literally like gonna get my $75 out of this I'm gonna use this with every time I use my blush just check my down bar it's gonna say like the or a reference that I was wearing this blush um I haven't exactly done that but I definitely have used it quite a bit and I want to continue using it because it's super super gorgeous you have like your regular like blush over here that's more matte and then kind of like a topper on this side and you can also like swirl them together I hope this is kind of showing up to get to get that so, so then we have saving the world this is the ColourPop blush it's the more coral one that just came out with the Powerpuff Girls collection. The really hot pink one I knew I wouldn't use because I run tend to run pink when I get warm anyways. And so um, I already have that blush listed along with the Bubbles hair clips. I just put that in totally backwards, I think. Um, but I'm going to... I should take it out of the box. Uh, but those, that's already listed on my Mercari. So if you're interested in a hot pink blush at a discount, go check it out. I'm like doing this backwards so box for my box boxes and look how cute this packaging is I'm showing you backwards this packaging is like so freaking adorable I love it love it love it love it 21f4 that must be like their batch codes or something huh then we have these two from Kiko Milano I really, the stuff that I've tried from them this year I've really enjoyed these are the mood boost radiant blush um, I first heard Anjushka, uh, <laughs> Angie Nikvis talking about it on her channel. Um, these are gorgeous. They definitely aren't for the fade of heart if you don't like a sparkly, like, you know, shimmery cheek. These aren't going to be for you. This is Coral Sunset. <laughs> oh, funny, funny. Coral Sunset. And then this is Cappuccino Cake which is more of just like a neutrally brown. But these are definitely really pretty and I definitely need to use these more too, especially before summer's over because I feel like the shimmery kind of like that color is definitely like a summer summer vibe. Then we have these guys. These were so sought after on the ColourPop site. I bought the whole entire Valentine's collection and I don't know why because I really have not touched it. The mirror I think is the cutest thing about that collection. These were pretty hard to open. I say that and then this one opens right up. So I love the pink one. I wear that one quite a bit. Um, and I love this one. It's like definitely like the neutral of all of them. This one isn't as like red as it looks. But it definitely is still very like deep uh, for my skin tone. But I've been keeping it because... Um, you know, it's like a set, <laughs> but I think we're going to declutter the red one because I legit never, ever wear it. Keep these. I wish they were easier to store. Like they don't want to stay in any sort of containers the right way because they're shaped like a heart. Then we have this Milani. This is the Luminoso, the baked powder blush. You guys, these were all the rage on YouTube a while back, quite a while back. It's a really nice baked gelée formula. Actually, the color reminds me, like, really reminds me of the um, Chanel one I just showed you. Let's let's compare just for for funsies. Like, it reminds me so much of this side. 
Uh, I guess the Chanel one's like a little more pink, but they're pretty freaking close to like being twinsies. Um, I definitely, I'm going to hang on to this just because I don't have a lot of like drugstore blushes for videos. Um, but if you're looking for like a nice dupe for a really expensive blush, I totally would recommend that the, oh my gosh, the baked powder blush. Yeah, just the Milani with the gold ring like that. I know they have so many different ones, the flower ones and all that. This was a recent purchase for me. I talked about it in a video. Manny MUA um, bought a bunch of Ross makeup and he picked up this blush there. It is um, from Lorac, or Lorac, Lorac, how do you say it? Uh, Luma Satin is, well, Luma is the shade, Satin is the finish. This is a really pretty dupe for the Rosy Glow um, Dior blush. I do find it to be quite powdery, but um, on the face, it, it doesn't end up, you know, coming off that way. It's just a really nice baby pink blush, and it definitely has, like, that satin finish to it. So, when, it's not sparkly, but when the light catches it, it just looks really nice on the cheeks. Then we have the Juvia's Place Blush Volume 2. Um, these I've used a couple times. You can't really tell. I didn't like put my finger in them or anything. You li literally can't tell that they've been used. Um, I feel like I have very similar colors to these in my collection, but I like the packaging. It's easy to store. Um, I like having like two options of blush if I put it in my purse. These were $14. They come in two colorways. They have a 24 month shelf life. And again, you get over an ounce of product, which is nice. Oh, but do I need these? All signs point to yes. Okay, please don't come for me. I really was like maybe, I know in other categories I'll be getting rid of a lot more. It's just, I love blush. And who doesn't? So these are actually three blushes. I, I don't know if they're still doing the 80% off ColourPop thing um, sale that they've been doing, but these were on there. This came out with the Isn't She Lovely or no, She's So Love, So Very Lovely palette. Gosh, I'm like all messed up. So these are Super Shock Cheeks. A couple of them are pearl and then one is a satin. Um, this one is really pretty. It looks super intimidating as a color, but it doesn't go on that much, especially if you sheer it out. This is Georgette. Super, super beautiful. This one, Chiffon, is like a blush topper, but if you, I hope you can see, it's kind of like a duochrome, like orange to pink. Um, so if you're not like, you know, the faint of heart and you don't want to use it on your cheek, it makes it really pretty eyeshadow. And then this one is called Voila, and it is a little bit darker, um, and I definitely can't use this on my cheeks because I'm so fair, but it works really nice, again, as an eyeshadow. And it's just super shimmery and beautiful. Okay, I've decided since I've kept so many, I'm going to declutter the Ofras. Then we have, oh, another box, okay. This is from Odin's Eye. This is the Alba Fruit Blusher. I have the shade Apricot Girl. This is really pretty. I got it because I have a bunch of um, Odin's Eye palettes. I like got the, the Saga Freya collection. And I wanted to do a video, so I did buy a lipstick. And then I bought this blush. So I'm going to keep these to do a video with. Um, the color is beautiful. It's definitely, as you've seen this video, you know that this color is definitely like right up my alley. Um... I do find sometimes it's like a little hard to like get an even blend out of these. Um, but I want to at least use it for a video again and then kind of go from there and decide. Oh, we're almost done, you guys. We have two. This video is only an hour long. I'm sorry. So this is from Aether Beauty. This was their original packaging. They've recently rebranded and dropped the E's. So it's just A-H-T-R Beauty. And then they did new packaging. They got rid of these um, elastic bands, which I'm kind of jealous. I wish I would have had the new version. So um, they're super planet friendly is what I really like about them. None of their packaging is going to have a mirror in it or anything like no metal. So it is fully recyclable. Um, and then even the box, like I ordered from their site and it come came in a black box with Velcro instead of tape, and you can actually scan it, print a label, and send the box back to them so it can be reused. I just thought that was super really, I mean, you never see that, that's so awesome. I see all these huge PR hauls from influencers, and like the amount of waste these, like, Elf's the worst. They sent out these huge, P, like huge boxes with all this cardboard and all this stuff in there for to hold one mascara. And like the box is as big as this table, it's like, 
what are you doing to the planet? I'm sorry. I'm not doing very good at the planet either by buying all this makeup that I'll never be able to use up. But anyways, this is the, what is it called? I don't want to butcher it. Crystal Charged Cheek Palette. There's a couple different versions of this. I have the shade Amber, which is this beautiful like coral shade. So we have this beautiful like highlight or blush topper. If you haven't heard of Aether, you might have if you've heard of like the Pure Diamond Dust like highlighters. This is like that. We have this nice topper shade, and then we have two blushes, which honestly you can see on my fingers, but you're probably not going to be able to see on my hand just because. Oh, there we go. I found an empty spot. Like these are gorgeous. They go on the cheeks, gorgeous. Um, I know that in their new eyeshadow palettes with the different spelling, they did slightly change the formula. I'm not sure if they did that with these cheek palettes. But um, if you're in the market for a new blush, this was a really good deal. I got all three for, it was on sale um, for, I think it was like $23 or something, which is an amazing deal. And they have, like, their ethics for their brand is amazing. Okay, last thing. Last thing for this video, you guys. We have the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Blush Palette. And I say last, but certainly not least, because this is one of my absolute favorites. Um, Manny makes the most beautiful blushes, you guys. Let me get, I, okay, I'm trying to get centered here. What I like about it is you get a mix of, like, neutrals and cool tones, and then you have, like, this warmer tone brown over here, and it's all in one palette. You're gonna get six different looks with these. Like, neither, like, none of them are too much the same. We have a kind of a shimmer here. Like, I know, like, these look similar, but, oops, sorry. These look similar, but one is shimmery and one isn't. Um, you get all six I think it's under $40 if I'm not mistaken or it might be like $45 but the quality is amazing you get a nice size mirror in here that you can totally like do your makeup with it oh there's my setup there's my LED light screen and then I got this new tripod I'm so excited anyways um yeah these are super gorgeous what I like about this so much more than Jaclyn Hill's bougie ruse I'm sorry like no tea like no shade but like I don't know like the bright like the cool tone palette was just like hugely bright pinks and then the warm tone palette was like these like like super bright oranges and reds and like I don't know I'm just a neutral girl at heart and these 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 are my these are my jam these are my jam this is still available it is on the Lunar Beauty website and you can use code LUNARFAM for 10% off if you've never ordered before so yeah check it out Okay, you guys, so let's see. I didn't do as well as I did with the bronzers. This is um, what I'll be getting rid of today. We're getting rid of the Ofra blushes, the ColourPop blush, this ColourPop, um, the Limoncello Collection blush, the Lot of Cheek Dews, and then the Cheek Dews from Shein. These are going to be hopefully going to a new home. I might just do this all as like one lot at a really decent price. And then what I'm keeping, of course, the Lunar Beauty, these color pops that I've got. I got these with that palette for a video like months ago. And then because it took so long to get here, I felt like everyone had already seen it and never did it. But um, I think I'm just going to be trying to get more content up and just, you know, <laughs> I need to do videos with the stuff I bought to do videos with. These um, are what I've got my blush like kind of dwindled down to. It's not a huge improvement, but you know, at least I know that all of these are ones I'm going to use. Um, like we've literally like swatched everything on my poor little hand and there's nothing in here that I straight out would be like, I'm never gonna use that. So I'm happy with that. I think these, you know, just this little bit will improve like my, the ability of my drawer to close. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching my, uh, blush and bronze declutter and I will be coming at you. I'm not going to do like all my declutters in a row. So it gets like kind of like old and boring, but, um, I'll have my next one coming up in a couple days. I mean, in the meantime, I got some really cool stuff planned for you. So make sure that you, if you are new here, you subscribe and stick around, um, to all my, people that have been here from the jump. I appreciate each and every one of you. Please give this video a like if you don't mind. It just takes a second. It really does help my channel. And comment down below. Is there any that you think are total crap that I should have gotten rid of? Or what is your favorite blush? Because I'm always in the market to try a new one, unfortunately. Let me know what I haven't tried and what I'm missing out on. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend and I will see you the beginning of the week with another video. I have so much planned for this week. I'm so, so excited. Okay. Bye guys. I to give you a really quick like after look after we got our blushes put back into the drawer.
I think we're upside down. I don't know. Yeah. So there is my reorganized plush drawer.